Well, that was not fun. Uh, the Rays drop game one of the American League Division Series to the Houston Astros in Houston 6-2. Um, there was a lot wrong with this game. We'll get into that, but uh, obviously we knew that we're going we're gonna to come into this game as heavy underdogs. Um, you have Justin Verlander, who dominates in the postseason, starting today. And so you knew it wasn't going to be easy to, to get base hits off of him. So, you know, obviously, yeah, it's frustrating that the Rays lost. But at some point, you have to expect it against a for sure Hall of Fame pitcher in Justin Verlander. So, in the top of the first inning, Austin Meadows would lead it off for the Rays. And if you remember, the season opener for the Tampa Bay Rays this year was at Tropicana Field. It was versus the Houston Astros versus Justin Verlander. Austin Meadows was the leadoff batter. Hits a home run off Justin Verlander to open up the season. So, uh... Same scenario, different ballpark here. Instead of hitting a dinger, Justin Verlander would walk Austin Meadows to open up the game, which is pretty surprising. You're thinking, okay, early momentum, that's that's great to see. And then Tommy Pham hits into a double play. And and it was just something Tommy Pham doesn't do very often. Really frustrating. And then uh, G-Man Choi would come up as the third guy in the lineup, and he would strike out on a called strike that was not a strike at all. He got absolutely screwed out of that. And... That was one of those things where you're like, really? Bottom of the first inning, the first pitch thrown by Tyler Glasnow today, I thought it was going to be a home run. Off, off, off that hit, just the sound of it, it was like, oh boy. And no, it was just a deep fly out, thankfully. So one pitch, one out right out the gate for Tyler Glasnow. Jose Altuve would fly out, then Michael Brantley would line out. We enter the second inning. It's another one, two, three. No hits. Bottom of the second inning, Bregman pops out. Alvarez grounds out. Yuli Gurriel singles. Perea singles. And then Robinson Chirinos lines out. So we got out of a jam there to end the second inning. Uh, top of the third inning, it was another one, two, three inning for the race. No walks, no base hits. Nothing. Bottom of the third, Josh Reddick strikes out. Uh, then Glasnow walks George Springer. Jose Altuve then popped out. George Springer then stole second base. Michael Brantley would single. And for whatever reason, the Rays challenged that, that throw out at first base. And it was obviously safe. I don't know why the Rays challenged it. Um, call the field stood as it should. And then Glasnow walked Bregman. You have the bases loaded now. Another jam for the Rays. And then he would strike out Alvarez to end the inning. And that was pretty much, that was the highlight of the day for the race. Getting out of a bases loaded jam. Top of the fourth inning. Austin Meadows pop out. Tommy Pham fly out. G-Man Choi walks. And then Yandy Diaz grounds out. Still nothing. Still nothing for the race. Zero hits through four innings. Glasnow would proceed to throw a 1-2-3 inning. That's the end of the fourth inning. Top of the fifth comes along. The Rays finally get their first goddamn hit of the day. It was a Brandon Lau single. And that was to open up the fifth inning. So confidence is coming back a little bit. Uh, then Darno pops out. Then Joey Wendell strikes out. And then Kiermaier strikes out. So the base hit meant out absolutely nothing. Bottom of the fifth inning started off with a Josh Reddick walk. George Springer would then strike out. And then that walk kind of hurt because Jose Altuve would open up the scoring with a two-run home run. And uh, it was it was a good one. It was a good hit. Barely got it around that foul pole, and it was just one of those stingers. Uh, Tyler Glasnow would then be replaced with Brendan McKay. First pitch, Brendan McKay gives up a single to Michael Brantley. Bregman doubles, and then Alvarez strikes out, and then they would replace McKay with Chaz Rowe. This was uh, the downfall of the Rays in, in this ball game. Uh, Gurriel would pop it up, and in this scenario, Austin Meadows should have come in and caught it. However, he didn't. He let Brandon Lau from second base try to catch it. And Brandon Lau fumbled it, and he dropped it. And the Astros scored two more off of this error. And and, and these are the types of plays you can't make in, in playoff baseball. You can't make them in October. Unfortunately, it happened for the Rays. Carlos Correa would then strike out to end the inning, but it's 4-0 Houston Astros. Top of the sixth inning, it would open up with an a Willie Adamez strikeout. Verlander would walk Meadows for the second time of the game, and also for the second time of the game, Tommy Pham would hit into a double play. So it's like, uh, so frustrating when you got a guy at first and then you hit into a double play twice in the same game it's so frustrating bottom of the sixth inning Chirinos walks Reddick grounds into a double play so thankfully we got that and then George Springer grounds out top of the seventh inning G-Man Choi strikes out Yandy Diaz strikes out Brandon Lau strikes out one two three inning for the race bottom of the seventh for the Astros Altuve lines out Michael Brantley called out on strikes Bregman walks Bregman steals Alvarez doubles Bregman scores Gurriel hits a ground rule double Alvarez scores 
and then Correa called out on strikes. 6-0 Houston. Yeah, that error by Brandon Lau hurt. Honestly, I'm not even going to blame the pitching for this game. I'm blaming the offense this game. Because it took five innings to get that first goddamn hit. Top of the eighth inning, Travis Darno lines out. Joey Wendell would single after swinging at shitty pitches. So I'm glad he was able to get on base. And then Kiermaier grounds out. Eric Sogard singles. Welcome back, Eric Sogard. I miss you. Austin Meadows doubles. Sogard scores. So now we got some momentum shifting over to the Rays now. Tommy Pham singles, Meadows to third, and then G-Man Choi grounds up. Uh, so the Rays get two on the board. We don't get shut out. 6-2 Houston. Bottom of the eighth for Houston would open up with a Torino single followed by three straight outs. And then top of the ninth inning, first pitch, Yanni Diaz grounds out. Amazing. Brandon Lau strikes out, then Darno called out on strikes. That's the game. And, and so mistakes were made. And you can't make mistakes in October. There's no next series. This is do or die time in baseball. You have to win these series. And if you remember correctly, the Rays opened their season 0-1. They lost to Justin Verlander and the Astros. They proceeded to win that four-game series by winning three straight games. And in the ALDS, it's not best of seven, it's best of five. You have to win three games to move on to the ALCS. And so if the Rays can just repeat a little bit of history here, win three straight games, which I would be completely fine with, we'd move on to the ALCS, because that's all it takes is three wins. So this next game, which is tomorrow, Saturday, 9 p.m., to me, this is a must-win game for the Rays. The absolute must-win game for the Rays. Um, they're not facing elimination, but, you know, if you fall down 0-2 in a best of five, you are likely done for the year. I, th you know, I think the goal for the Rays coming into this series was... Split it in Houston, take it to Tropicana. You know, when you're playing a series, you're not going to expect a sweep, especially against a team as good and dominant as the Houston Astros. And I will say this, I don't think the media is giving the Rays enough credit because all day I've been hearing, oh, Astros are expected to win and they're expected to win the series easily. That was an actual quote on the MLB Network. They are expected to win easily. And, you know, with this pitching staff the Rays have and the number one bullpen remaining in, in the playoffs, ranked by ESPN this morning, this is not going to be the easiest task to take down the Tampa Bay Rays. Obviously, we're underdogs. We're not the favorites to win this series. But, you know, on the other side of the Bay, the Lightning were favorites to not only win their series against Columbus, but win the whole damn thing, and they didn't win a single playoff game. To me, I think I'd rather be an underdog than the team to beat. And, but that's just me. So Rays fall 1-0 in the ALDS to the Houston Astros. Blake Snell starts tomorrow against a dominant Garrett Cole. Oh boy. Let's cross our fingers. Let's pray to God the offense wakes up and gets some hits in tomorrow's game. So with that being said, Rays up, Rays lose this one. I will see you tomorrow for game two of the ALDS. Go Rays. Peace out.